Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. I want to like YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Show with another Madden 18 uh, mutt tip. I got another coin making method for you. Something really simple. This card you're looking at right here, Philip Gaines, I just got for 500 coins. And when I did that, I was like, let me record this. I think I had a really good method. Uh, but basically, all I'm doing is buying and selling gold cards. You see, I got another guy here I'm getting for about 950. You'll see how much he sells for uh, in a little bit. Believe me, it's a lot more um, than 950. Uh, you saw the next lowest card price was around 2600 to you know or more so um yeah 2700 for the next lowest card so basically um you know i i started finding myself purchasing uh really inexpensive uh gold cards in the 75 to 79 range trying to snipe those instead of elites and i found it was a lot easier and was working a lot better so the filters i really set to all i really set it to was buy now price and then i set it to all players type quality 75 to 79 i put the letter a in the search engine there it just kind of changes the cards a little bit i find uh, i got that from a different youtuber uh, chewbacca lemon i watched a video he was shooting live and he had that in there i don't know if it was helping him or not if it was a mistake uh, but i started doing it and i find it's helpful uh, but essentially all i'm really doing is going team to team i should have bought that guy right there for for a thousand but i hesitated and moved on because it wasn't a huge uh increase or a huge uh decrease from the, the next card uh, but basically, I'm just going team to team. I'm going team to team with this setup uh, with the intention of finding cards that are way cheaper. Uh, you'll see here I get a uh, cheap Jari Evans, I think, for like 600 coins. Um, I found quite a few in the 500 to 600 range. That's really ideal. Uh, but at the end of the day, if it's if it's a thousand and the next card you see is like 2600, like like that one right tackle that I got from the uh, from the Niners, buy them because you're because because I'm going to do two methods here. I'm going to sell them back. Uh, for much more than I spent and I'm also going to um, here's another one Calvin Pryor uh, that guy actually is a decent player to play he's got really good hit power um, some of these guys if you don't have a great team might actually upgrade your team but either way so like I said two methods here I'm going to sell them back um, you know for for better value and I'm going to turn them into a set and that's the uh, second method as you see some of my grace hits here I get Kamar Aiken um, at the very least you, if you get good cards you can double or triple your coins but like I said you can get much more and I'm gonna show you that method here in a second so after I get a couple of good cards the Redskins by the way are one of the best teams for that As you see I get some guy uh, who I, I barely know who he is for 750 the Redskins are always on the cheap end so once I get that I'm gonna go into my item binder and I'm basically going to um, go through the cards I purchased first I'll go to newest and just make sure that I didn't get any like you know outrageous deal where the guy you know if I spent like 600 for a guy he's worth like 4,000 I gotta check that out Vernon Hargraves I don't remember what I paid for him but you can see here he's he's worth relatively close to three grand so I don't want to put him in a set which is my my second step and that was really the the, the whole idea behind this was to, was to finish sets anyway but since he's worth about three thousand I'd much rather sell the ones that get a good upfront cost there um, for what they're worth because the second method I'm gonna show you the set I'm gonna complete is essentially uh, a little bit riskier you don't know what you're gonna get but if I can get a guaranteed 3,000 I'm pretty sure I got that hard grades for under a grand you know what I'm saying why wouldn't I take that here's Jari Evans selling for what 3,400 uh, you know what I mean it's like I got him for 650 I think was the price so a lot of these guys it just makes sense to send them back to the market uh, doubling or tripling your value and then here's that tiller guy I told you about I, I spent less than a grand he was 950 he's selling for like four grand so it's like you know this is this is the easiest method and obviously this is the quickest method the second method is going to your upgrade sets going to exchange and then going to players and this was really why I started doing this in the first place was I wanted to find cheap players to basically flip and turn to golds or elites uh, because red elites are just worth that much more so basically Whatever cards didn't cut the muster as far as making a lot of money back, I'm going to put them into this set. The second you flip these guys into an elite, I mean, the value just goes up. But you got a good shot of definitely upgrading your team because my team right now is actually an 80, although when I shot this video, it was a 78. Um, but, you know, I, I, you have a good shot of getting a really good player that upgrades your team. So once I fill those guys out, once I decide to pick the worst of the worst, the ones that really don't have a lot of value, maybe a thousand value at best, um, and I put them into the, to the elite pack, I get one player, and the first time I did it, I really lucked out. I got Graham Gano. Now, a lot of people might th not think, if you don't play much, you might not think that that's great. But an elite kicker at this point is worth major money. And considering I only spent like 500 to 700 an average per card for seven cards, that's like 35 to, um, you know, 5,000 at the most. 
to get this and I'm going to flip this guy. You're going to see the prices here. It might make you <laughs> might make you fall over, but I'm going to flip that for about 35 to 40 K, um, which I actually already did. Uh, so you see just the, the massive potential. I've already gotten guys like, um, you know, offensive linemen that are worth like 10 K plus using the same method. Um, the very next guy that I got here, you just see me pump this guy up. Like I said, he sold right away too. I mean, you can sell, you have to sell him at the lowest card price, but he's selling in like the close to 40 range. The next guy I got right after this was Jabal Sheard. Uh, I sold him for, I want to say like, I don't know, I think it was like eight or nine, which is what you should expect for the most part. But like I said, you're spending close to five max. So um, that's really the best way to go. This is a great coin making method. So if you guys want to see more coin making methods, do me a favor, hit the like button and I'll do that. Um, this is just a really good set to flip. And that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit out.